Welcome to your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Jessica Cook. At Osan Air Base, airmen train with local firefighters in case of an emergency. Air Force Sergeant Jason Bailey reports. Deputy Fire Chief Christopher Rayner says firefighters, much like college fraternities, share a common bond. The fire Department, no matter where you are in the world, is a, is a brotherhood. There are certain th things that are understood as we work together. That bond is so strong it knows no boundaries. Hand signals help firefighters to communicate through loud noise and language barriers. Usually a fire ground is pretty darn noisy, so either you have to yell, and, and trying to yell through our air masks is very hard to do, or you use hand gestures. Airmen teach Korean firefighters how to respond in case of an aircraft emergency. They covered Korean and U.S. airframes. Republic of Korea Air Forces, F-5s, our A-10s, the F-16s. With two fire attack teams and a third safety team standing by, they practice extinguishing the flames with water as if it were foam. Working in pairs and working as a team together, that's the most important thing, really. Americans working side by side with Koreans to put out fires is what makes this training so important. It seems to have gone very well today. Doing something like this just happens to make it work a lot easier when the time comes for an emergency. Air Force Staff Sergeant Jason Bailey, Osan Air Base, Korea. Practicing teamwork and good communication skills during training strengthens the bond between American service members and their host nation. That was your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Jessica Cook.